So this video is about continuous versus discrete functions or continuous versus discrete values um, or functions. Um, so we've talked about the domain and the range already. The domain is all the x values of your function. The range is all the y values or the outputs of your function. Let's think about some sort of scenario, like for example, um, the number of people left on The Bachelor after a certain number of weeks. What do you think that graph would look like if this is like the number of weeks and this is people left on The Bachelor? So people get kicked off each week. I forget exactly how that show works, but basically the graph would look something like this. It would be going down until there's just one left. Except for this graph doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense. Let's say, I don't know that this is accurate, but let's say we start with 30 people, and this is week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, I don't know. And this is 10 and 20. Would it make sense for us to have, like, let's say at week one, we're down to like 25 people, and then on week two, we're down to I don't know what exactly that is, but like, let's say that this is 24.1. Is it possible to get an output of 24.1 people left on The Bachelor? Or is it possible to get an output of like 8.7 people left on The Bachelor? Or can we even consider week 1.8? Or could we talk about week 2.1? Like, does that even make sense in this context here? Don't they just get rid of people each week? So, um, what I have drawn is like one steady line, but that doesn't actually make sense. What I want instead are kind of separate values that only hit on the week and only hit on like <laughs> whole people. You shouldn't ever have like 0.1 of a person. So instead of drawing a line, it would have made more sense to, let me just erase some of this. It would have made more sense to just do like, I've got 30 people left at the beginning and then this many people left on week two and then exactly 20 people left on week three. See how I'm like going with just whole numbers and I'm not connecting the dots because I don't want the intermediate values. I just want each week. Okay, so what we're getting at is this right here. Sometimes you want a continuous function, which means all the points are connected. You connect the dots. This is a bunch of points that are so close together that you can't even see them. They just make one continuous line that you could draw with one stroke of the pencil. Whereas sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you just want discrete values. Discrete means like separate, not the same, unconnected points. Like, this is kind of like the same function, but instead of all the points in between, it's just like whole numbers. Except it does go negative. So for this one, we could say the domain is all real numbers because it hits every single x value to negative infinity and to positive infinity. It's literally every number is in the domain here. But on this one, it's only integers because I don't want decimals, I just want whole numbers. And I do include negatives on this one, so it could be negative one or negative two or negative three or one or two or three, but only integers are my domain here. Um, so for example, some things that are continuous would be like, often it's like things that happen over time as things change. For example, like a person's height over time, that would be a continuous function because I could be like 0.75 of a foot. My height would be a continuous function over time. Like I would grow over time and I could have decimals there basically. You could also have like half of a day or one fourth of a day. You can have like 0.61 of a day that makes sense to have continuous functions there. 
or like the time it takes to complete a task or um, temperature over time, like temperature goes up and down and up and down over time. Um, again, time is a continuous function, like you can have decimals with time. Same thing with temperature, you could have decimals. Like we could have 76.14 degrees. It doesn't have to be a whole number. Or like the speed of a car over time. Um, some examples of discrete would be like, um, anytime you're talking about people or animals, you can't have like 0.2 of a frog, hopefully not. So those would be discrete values. I don't want to have like 0.7 of a frog population. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, for example, like the number of people in class over time would kind of go up and down just a little bit. But again, it should just be discrete values. It shouldn't be a continuous thing because it doesn't make sense to connect those dots. I'm not gonna have like 0.75 of a person or like the number of TV sets you own. You probably can't own a quarter of a TV set. So again, those would be discrete values. Or like the number of puppies in a litter, the number of questions on a math test. Um, those are all whole numbers, discrete values, not continuous functions.